Snow-covered frozen lakes make good show grounds for automakers intent on demonstrating superiority, or lack thereof, regarding drive and stability control systems, which is why Volkswagen invited us to Quebec's Laurentian region to sample four Motion Atlas and Golf all-track models. Fortunately for us, the weather didn't cooperate. A tourism busting weekend of warm weather preceded our visit, thinning the ice sufficiently that said VWs would have sunk in the unfrozen lake that back up plan meant we got real road time, with bumps, dips, stops, turns, and elevation changes ice simply doesn't offer. Although we got up to 52 miles per hour indicated only once, and dynamic loads were severely traction limited, this was still better than verifying for the umpteenth time that modern electronics are indeed faster than most humans. The Atlas crossover uses the same basic all-wheel drive system as the Golf R and Alltrack, a fifth-generation clutch pack arrangement often referred to as a Hondex system, which is built by Borg Warner A console rotary dial selects one of four drive modes, while the mode button within it adjusts powertrain programming. The uncontrolled unit, pump, and clutch pack are packaged just ahead of the rear axle center line, so the four motion models get a unique subframe both the 235 horsepower turbo 2.0 liter Ford and 276 horsepower VR6 come with an 8-speed automatic, but only the VR6 offers the four motion option this is mildly puzzling as early hints suggested both would offer it. The VR6's torque output isn't notably superior to the fours, and the turbo would be advantageous at altitudes where all-wheel drive may be more desirable. As far as traction goes on frozen roads with gradients to 15%, and there really wasn't much difference between the paved and off-road routes we drove, neither the Atlas nor the Alltrack could be forced to put a wheel wrong, 